Scootopians, what's going on? Old Man Dan here. Welcome to Scootopia. It's been so many of you guys out there asking me about the mantis, the mantis, the mantis, the mantis. So I thought it would be ideal to showcase the Mantis Pro and the brand new Mantis King GT. Both 2022 models, uh, but the, there are some differences. Now, everyone was in love and still is in love with the Mantis Pro. The Mantis Pro and the Mantis King G It's hard for me to call this a king. Let me just get this out. Let me get, let's get that elephant out of the room because I'm calling this thing a prince. Why would we call this a king when a king is a king? It's a, it's a Mantis almost king. He's got a little ways to go to become a king. All right. <laughs> the Mantis Prince. I'm going to call it the Mantis Prince. So for Scootopians out there, it's worthy. It's still royalty, but king make me think grand and big, like we got the King GT and the Cobble Wolf King, and you know, and the Wolf Warrior, and you know, so I think you get my drift. <laughs> so what are the differences in these two? Um, when it comes down to performance, they're pretty close. All right, this one here is uh, 60 volt. Both of them are 60 volt uh, packs. And this one is an 18 amp hour, whereas this one is a 24 amp hour. You're gonna get 30 amp sine wave controllers on the King, and you're gonna get 27 uh, amp controllers, not sine wave, on the Pro, all right? Of course, you're gonna get a smoother, quieter ride on the King, but the Pro, you know how quiet that's been all along. So you already know on the ride part of it. Um, this one's you're gonna get 44 miles per hour. This one, you'll get 41 miles per hour. Uh, you'll get, I believe, about 53 miles of range on the King GT, and this one's gonna get you about 47 to 48 miles of range. So when it comes to performance and all that, pretty close. I think where all the magic is, is in the build, in the aesthetics, and some of the uh, new additions, just like this one has the anti-glare TFT display. This one has the Dualtron or Mini Motors eye display. This is a finger throttle. This one's a thumb throttle, all right? So people have their preferences, thumb, finger, I like them all. I, I think my favorite throttle in the whole wide world is the Ryan Curve throttle. It's just, um, that thing is just smooth. But since I bought that Segway, I kind of like that twist grip throttle, you know, and I never liked twist grip throttles ever, you know? So finger throttles, I have fallen in love with finger throttles because I'm a Dualtron guy. I own like eight to 10 Dualtrons. And so they're all finger throttle. Thumb throttle, I like thumb throttle. I just don't like it when it has lag or sag or latency, all right, when it has that delay. And my understanding, I haven't ridden it yet, I'm going to get on it and ride it, is that this doesn't have the latency. So let's see if it does or it doesn't, all right? The steering poles are pretty much identical. What you notice though on the difference in the front right off the bat is Old Man Dan and many, many of you out there do not like these, this locking clamp system right here where we have to twist and we have to keep adjusting and all that. It's just not fun because it takes so long to set it up till you hate when you have to drop your bars when you take your sco scooter somewhere. Um, this one has that gold clamp in about seven seconds you have it all done pull this out and it's just uh -oh. come out come out there we go and you just bam and of course they both lock into the lock into themselves on the deck and then when you get ready to put it back up just make sure you have this out first then you put it here get ready to make sure this is out and then you twist that so that it goes in. You gotta make sure that you do that little slight twist because you do the slight twist to hold it out, but you gotta slight twist it in 
push it in if you have to. But you see the little slot? That's where it ends. So that's the safety feature. I like that way better than this. <laughs> All right. Um, the brakes, zoom brakes on both units. Okay. Um, and on the deck, you'll notice when you hold them back, hold them both up, the deck on the King is higher. I think it's about eight and a half inches from the ground. Whereas this one's seven inches from the ground. All right. The, even the mud flaps, you notice the difference on the mud flaps. On the Pro, the mud flaps are thinner, whereas on the King, they have girth, width, and more coverage, okay? The front is pretty close to this one, but the back, that's the big difference. You can see it right there, all right? The tires, they're both 10-inch tires, but on the King, it has the 10 inch and it has the hybrid, which are part off-road, part road. And so that's a big difference. And the footrest, or some people call the kick plate, look at, you can see the difference. Here, it's, you know, you might miss it. Here it's wider, slight, almost no chance of missing it, all right? You'll notice in the neck of the chassis, there is a gap here. And here, you actually have your charge ports, okay? So the charge ports are added to the chassis neck. Uh, so many things. Now, on the multi-switch, they're exactly the same. But your power button, this is the same power button that you have on the King GT. And um, it's, it's solid. <laughs> it's really solid. The lights are the same. The headlights are the same. I believe they both have the same lumens. And now, here you have amazing swag appeal. The the lighting that's um, on the deck, you can change the lighting. I think the lighting is on the top and bottom. And so you get that, that you can change the colors with an app. So you, you can download the app and literally control your swag lights. All right, a lot of people really like those swag lights. Comes with deck lights. And here you have the tail lights, brake lights, flashers, and left and right turn signals in the rear down here. The turn signals are independent on the King, you know, so when you turn on the turn signals and you brake, the turn signals don't go away, all right? Whereas on here, when you brake, your turn signals are interrupted and then they come back. Uh, the, both of them have the little flimsy kickstand. <laughs> I don't even know why these things are even made. They break so easy, but they both have those little flimsy kickstands. And so this is the 2022 difference in the Cabo King GT and the both Mantises and the Cabo Mantis Pro, all right? So you check them out. You oh the handlebars are different. So you have the cross member on this handlebar on the king, and you don't on this. It's kind of preference really. Like here you can add some extra things, extra accessories to your bars, whereas here you only have this and that's it. And you're gonna have to add something to it to add more accessories. Uh, really don't need a whole lot of accessories on. When I first started out, I was loading them up, but you don't need a lot of accessories on your scooter. Uh, but that's pretty much it. That is the Cabo Mantis Pro and Cabo Mantis King GT. All right? You still kind of get used to that King, King GT. <laughs> All right? Uh, comes in that nice gold color. That nice gold color, which is really, really nice. Uh, and so I'm going to take this out. We're gonna do a little ride on it and everything. See how it rolls. See what the uh, see what the if there's lag or delay in the uh, throttle in the thumb throttle. Um, also, I love that both of these in a lot of Cobbles units now are coming where you can literally, if you have anything go wrong, you just plug and play, plug and play. If you gotta change your display, unplug it, put a new one. It's, it just makes things so much easier. You know, back in the day, we used to have to go through the whole deck and run wires. Oh my God, it was awful. Go through the whole steering pole, all of that. And now you don't. So that's a good thing. All right. So 
Um, join me and subscribe. We're going to go outside and we're going to take a little ride. Come on. Hey, it feels like a little toy to me. It feels like a little toy to me. It's actually fun to ride, but I'm telling you, I don't feel a whole lot of difference in this than the Mantis Pro. And so I think this is a boost up because it's sine wave, so it's going to sound better. It's going to feel smoother. Um, and then you have the, I did notice the difference on the footrest. The suspension, you notice the difference on suspension. There was no lag but we have a gradual takeoff. So um, could be in the settings. I didn't really set it to, uh, you know, like blown out, you know, but, uh, <laughs> and, uh, but it's, it's fun, very nimble. And um, it's definitely fun. It's gonna be a fun scooter for whoever get it. If you like Mantis, Cabo Mantis, you're gonna like the Cabo mantis king gt guaranteed you will and look how pretty it is <laughs> this thing is beautiful so that's it that's the cabo mantis king gt this is old man dan saying make sure you subscribe to my channel like share my videos leave some comments down below what you think about the cabo mantis king gt <laughs> that's a mouthful i call it the prince i had to get that in there and um you know, and tell me what you think. I'll see you later. The old man Dan, I'm out. About to meet the man, old man Dan. Was about the love, hell man time. Start a scooter club, I know you're fine. Cause you're just like that. You bend up a backwards to help a man. You strap up, you boot up, you throw on your colors. Get ready to hang, riding with the fellas. Yeah, yeah. Hoping though 